Hey, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, not sure if you've already heard, but it looks like Nike is entering the metaverse now. Um, they just bought out a company, a company called Artifact. It's spelled R-T-F-K-T. But Artifact is an NFT studio and virtual sneaker brand. They, uh, they create and design these virtual sneakers that in the past have brought in over $10,000 a pair. Um, back in March, they actually had an auction where they sold um, over 600 pairs of, of sneakers for um, in under seven minutes. They sold it in under seven minutes and brought in a little bit over $3.1 million. Um, this is a venture-backed company. They were backed by Andreessen Horowitz, one of the largest venture capital funds out there, um, who invested in them back in May for around $25 million. It's not clear how much Nike paid for them. It hasn't been disclosed yet, but it's you know starting to show that a lot of these investments are starting to pick up and you know continue on throughout the year. Uh, this is Nike's way of expanding their digital footprint um, and entering the metaverse. We've already seen companies such as Gucci and Burberry and Adidas entering into the NFT space, um, but this just continues this, this continues to show the conviction that these companies have. Um, in the area and how nobody wants to get left behind. Um, everyone's, you know, moving. They're really trying to buy themselves the option of, you know, in the future if they need to um, make a move, they'll, they'll be able to do so. Um, uh, not financial advice, but I definitely can see Nike, for example, buying land on Sandbox or any of the other platforms. Um, and, you know, setting up a virtual shop where they're able to, you know, ha have, have a virtual shop where they can showcase their NFTs um, and, you know, create a marketplace for individuals to go on and buy and sell um, Nike, Nike gear over there. Um, I'll continue to keep you guys updated, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and make sure you're aware uh, because these are exciting times. I really look forward to 2022.